Okay, this is pressing, cleaning and pressing comics for the Izzyverse part five. I am super excited to work on this book today because I love this book. I have this book graded and signed by Stanley. It's the only Stanley signature I have in my collection. Um, but it just, uh, just represents an awesome time of comic book reading for me personally when I was a teenager. And, uh, you know, this run was one of the main runs I was reading at the time. But anyway, let's take another quick look at this book. Let's get this light a little closer. Couple, I'm not sure if that might be a slight color break. Couple ticks. A little bit of color rubble. Oh, sorry. That was the press heating up. A little color rub off there. It's got like an indentation or something in the book. You can see it right there, like a D. I'm trying to get it. You can kind of see it right there. All fixable, other than color breaking ticks. Pretty nice colored pages. It does have a little non-color break line right there. And you can see it. This corner has a little bit of like wear on it, but it's um it's a nicer corner than that last book I worked on at Gambit. Those corn these corners are definitely sharper. And this is a much cleaner book. Um a little bit of something there but I, that might that might be ink rub off it might not even come off and then that little bit of something right there so um let's start by trying to clean up those white spots a little first one more thing before i get started on cleaning i talked about it in my last video about um using humidity any type of moisture on a comic book and if you don't let it dry out completely in a press what happens I'm hoping I can get this in the camera. Uh, not really. This bottom edge here has got all a little waviness to it. And to me, that says that somebody added moisture to this book and didn't go through the right steps of getting it to dry out and cure completely before they took it out of a press. And you got wavy lines, but correctable, just avoidable if you if you did it right. So, but anyway. Let's clean this sucker. Make sure my eraser doesn't have any schmutz on it. Nice and white, right? All right. Don't know what this is right here, but it's bothered me. Definitely doesn't belong. Mostly. I just don't want to mess up the black in the process. Got most of it off. I said I don't want to damage anything else while I'm trying to get a little tiny bit of color rub off. This is a pretty nice copy. I mean, I think if you were to send it in as is, it would probably be like an 8-0-ish book without a press or anything. I'm saying just as it sits, which is pretty good for a 30-something-year-old book. All right, see this, this little bit of red right here? That might just be ink rub off from like Nintendo when it was in the printing process. But why risk it? If we can get it out. Or at least lighten it. Got most of it out. Okay. Doesn't need a lot. I don't have to scrub this like the last one. But I always like to clean the edges. Because that's where... 
you get light soiling that you don't really see. stupid little dot right there you guys can see that like I said same thing I oh, got it see that I would have been stuck in the book if I pressed it like that and then it's a little bit of yellow right there if you can see that that's probably newsstand rub off right from one copy to another just sticks to the book a little bit and let's see yeah we got some yellow so it's probably what it is and they usually don't ding you for that stuff but depends if you get a cranky grater or not Right, so that's it for cleaning um, I'm gonna steam it because it does have some ticks got a little bit of that fold on that front cover over here um, and that indentation that I showed you up here steam and a press will get all that out the only thing it won't get out is if these are this is like a very very minor color break might be another one or two over here maybe another one right there uh, but outside of that, it's, like I said, it's a nice copy of this book. So let me get the steamer out. doing is I saw some dots of water and that's bad because you don't want that to go in the press like that parchment paper in now I already have the backer board at the center fold back cover is actually a lot straighter than the front cover kind of only needs a little bit of help by the uh, spine to the press I have the press preheated to 160 and because of the moisture we are going to do 10 minutes and then let it cool in here for at least three hours I'm hoping I can get this out before the night is over uh, take a look what it looks like uh, when it's all done and cooled off like i said i pointed out those wiggly lines on the bottom i'm hoping that 
reapplying moisture and repressing it properly will get those out, which I think it will. So see you in a few minutes. Okay, this is the finished product. I mean, uh, if there is, I guess there is light spine ticks. That's all there are. Uh, the ticks themselves are gone. You just see that little tiny color break. This impression that was up here is gone. Uh, this waviness that was right over here is also gone. This bottom edge is nice and straight now. The back cover looks nice. Don't see any ticks, anything in it. I said there is that yellow, that rub off. I didn't get it off completely, but they may not even hate you for that because very common in comic books. That is what we have. So it could be a 90 book. It could possibly be like a 90 ish book. So very nice copy, clean, couple very, very, very tiny ticks. Other than that, nice white pages. Uh, no major issues with it. So hope you liked part five. If you did, click that damn like button, click that subscribe button, leave me some comments. Tell me I suck. I don't know. Say something. Say hello. I'll see you guys next time. I could do this all day.